Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter of the spirit of truth, for it everywhere present and fills all things, treasure of good gifts and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us of all stain and save our souls, O good one. Many years, Master. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou who of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon the new nation which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. بل وطد سيرة المستقيم الرأي وخلص الذين مرتيا يتملكوا وامنحيهم الغلب من السماء بما أنك ولدت لله أيتها المباركة وحدك Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for our Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop Angel. Many years, Lord, Master. Ya Rab, Orham, Ya Rab, Orham, Ya Rab, Orham. Thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless Master in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord to sustain me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. 
O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For my, mine iniquities are, over, are gone over mine head, as in heavy burden they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long, for my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man who, that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. Thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. But mine enemies are lively, and they are strong. And they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in thy night watches, because the, thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory, but the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, and darkness in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave? Or thy faithfulness and destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They come round about me daily like water. They compassed me about together. Lover and friend has put far from me and mine acquaintance into darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. 
As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplication, and thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, and hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the work of thy hands, I stretch forth thy, my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who with faith reverence and the fear of God enter therein. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Basil, the, the Honorable God. Priest of the Diaconate in Christ for all the clergy and the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our President, civil authorities, and our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, most holy with Theotokos all the saints, say, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Run to thee is to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and hath appeared 
unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. But in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Deus Kyrios kepefaneni min evlogimenos o erhomenos en onomati Kyriou. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad, for the Lord hath done a mighty act with his own arm. He hath trampled down death by death and became the firstborn from the dead. He hath delivered us from the depths of Hades, granting the world the great mercy. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the barren wilderness, thou didst make fertile with the streams of thy tears, and by thy deep sighing, thou didst give, thou hast given fruit through thy struggles, Accordingly, thou hast become a star for the universe, sparkling with miracles. Therefore, O righteous John Climacus, intercede with Christ our God to save our souls. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. Thou who for our sake was born of a virgin and did suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death through death, and as God didst reveal resurrection. Despise not those whom thou hast created with thine own hand. Show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the intercessions of thy mother, the Theotokos, for us, and save thy despairing people. O oh, our Savior. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. 
calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and the Holy Theotokos. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead. He who is the first fruits of those that slept, the firstborn of creation, and the creator of all things created. He hath renewed by himself the nature of our corrupt race. Wherefore thou shalt reign no more, O death, for the Lord of all hath nullified the power and dissolved it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When thou didst taste death in the flesh, O Lord, thou didst check bitter death by the re thy resurrection, and didst make man to prevail over it, restoring victory <coughs> over the old curse. Wherefore, O supporter and champion of our life, glory to thee, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thee who art the mediatrix of this, for the salvation of our race, we praise, O Virgin Theotokos, for in the flesh assumed from thee after that he had suffered the passion of the cross, thy Son and our God delivered us from corruption because he is the lover of mankind. Because of thine immutable div divinity, O Lord, and thy voluntary sufferings, Hades was overwhelmed and moaned within itself, saying, Verily I am in dread fear of the person of this incorruptible body, for I see the unseen fighting me secretly, and behold those whom I have held, shouting glory to thy resurrection, O Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us, believer, let us believers speak of divine things, of the secret of thine inscrutable crucifixion, of thine ineffable resurrection. For today have death and Hades been led, led captive, and the race of man hath been invested with incorruption. Therefore do we cry in gratitude glory to thy resurrection, O Christ, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, O Theotokos, the incomprehensible and boundless, consubstantial with the Father and the Spirit, hast thou held secretly in thy womb, and by thy birth giving, we have learned to glorify in the world the act of the one immiscible Trinity. Therefore, with gratitude we cry to thee, rejoice, O thou that art full of grace. Blessed art the blameless in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that search out his testimonies with their whole heart shall they seek after him for they that work iniquities have not walked in his way thou hast enjoined thy commandments that we should keep them most diligently would that my words were directed to keep thy statue. And shall I not be ashamed when I look on all thy commandments? I will confess thee with the brightness of heart when I have learned the judgments of thy righteousness. I will keep thy statutes, do not utterly forsake me. Wherewithal shall a young man correct his way by keeping thy word? With my whole heart have I sought after thee, cast me not away from thy commandment. In my heart have I hid thy sayings, that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, destroyed the power of death and with the raising up Adam and releasing all men from her. Wherefore, O women disciples, do ye mingle sweet smelling spices with your tears of pity? The radiant angel within the sepulchre cried unto the myrrh-bearing women, Behold the grave and understand, for the Savior is risen from the tomb. Mubarak, 
كن أنت يا ربي علمني حقوقك إن حاملة الطيب سحرا جدا سرعنا إلى قبرك نائحات إلا أن الملاك وقف بهن وقال لهن زمن النوح قد كاف وبطل فلا تبكين بل بشرنا الرسل بالقيامة Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The myrrh-bearing women mourned as bearing spices. They drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angel spake unto them, saying, Why number ye the living among the dead? In that he is God, he is risen from the grave. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore the Father, as also the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity, one in essence, crying with the seraphim. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O Lord. <laughs> ومناحت حواء الفرح عوض الحزن لكن الإله والإنسان المتجسد منك أرشدهما إلى الحياة التي قد تهور منها هللويا 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 Sassi o Theo. Alleluia, 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 Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Holy mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For blessed is thy name, and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To the ointment-bearing women, the brilliant angel of sweet words, starting them, did say, Why seek ye the living one in the grave? He is verily risen, and hath emptied the tombs. Know ye therefore that the changeless one hath changed corruption to incorruption, and say to God, How dreadful are thy works, for thou hast saved mankind. <clears throat> Thou didst verily deliver the captivity of Zion from Babylon, O word. Likewise, draw thou me out of suffering into life. They who sow in Timon with divine tears shall reap with rejoicing the sheaves of eternal life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. With the Holy Spirit, every gift is good, for he do doth shine forth together with the Father and the Son, and in him doth all creation live and move. If the Lord buildeth not the house of virtues, then vainly do we labor, but if we defend and protect our lives, none shall prevail against our city. The saints are verily the higher of the fruit of the womb, and they have not ceased to be thy sons in the spirit of Christ, and thou art like a father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit hath all holiness and wisdom been observed, for he is the creator of all the essence of creation. Therefore, let us worship him, for he is God, as is the Father and the Word. 
Happy are they who fear the Lord, for they walk in the way of his commandments and eat of the fruits of universal life. Rejoice with gladness, O chief shepherd, as thou beholdest thy children's children around thy table, offering branches of good deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, all the riches of honor are of the Holy Spirit, and of him too is grace and life for all creation. Wherefore, he is to be praised with the Father and the Word. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth, the world also shall be so established that it shall not be moved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <laughs> For holy art thou, O our God, who restest in the holy place, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye God and his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And, and to thy spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus revealed himself to his disciples after he was raised from the dead and said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my lambs. A second time, Jesus said to him, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Jesus said to him a third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. <coughs> You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were young, you girded yourself and walked where you would. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands, and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish to go. This he said to show by what death Peter was to glorify God. And after this he said to him, Follow me. Peter turned and saw following them the disciple whom Jesus loved, who had lain close to his breast at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. The saying spread abroad among the brethren that this disciple was not to die, yet Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die. But if it is my will that I remain until that he remain until I come, what is that to you? 
This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things and who has written these things, and we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things which Jesus did. Were every one of them written, I suppose the world itself would could not contain the books that would be written. Amen. Glory to the O Lord, glory to thee. that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, and we know no other beside thee. We call upon thy name. O come, all ye faithful, let us worship Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross, joy is come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he endured the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out mine iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unclear and hidden things of thy wisdom thou hast made clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with a guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the impious shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For hadst thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good will unto Zion, that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
prepare for me the way of salvation. O Theotokos, for I have profaned my self with sinful deeds and have passed my love. بحسب عظيم رحمتك وبحسب كثرة رأفتك محوما آتيمي إذا تصورت كثرة Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all immaculate Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the mighty and precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven. At the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, all audible apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs, and ecumenical teachers, Bays of the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myr and Lycia, Spiridon of Tremethos and Nectarios of Pentapolis, the wonder workers of our Father among the saints, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the trophy bearer, protector of this holy cathedral, Demetrios, the myrrh streaming, Theodore the soldier, Theodore the general, Minos, the wonder worker, of the higher martyrs, Ignatius, the god bearer of Antioch, Arlampos and Eleutherios, of the holy, glorious, and great women martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Photony, Marina, Paraskevia, and Irene, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and god bearing fathers who have shown in the ascetic life, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of John, of Sinai, 
author of the latter, whose memory we celebrate this day and of all the saints, we beseech the only most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of a sinner, to make her supplication unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. compassion and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. On this day didst thou rise out of the grave and didst lead us from the bars and gates of death. Thou who art great in compassion on this day, both Adam danceth and Eve rejoiceth and with them all of the patriarchs and of the prophets chant unceasing hymns in praise of the godly power of thy dominion and night. Dominion and might. Let heaven and earth dance today and let them praise Christ God with one accord, for he hath raised from the grave them that were in bonds. All creation rejoiceth together as it offereth fitting songs unto our Redeemer, the creator of all. For having drawn mortals with himself out of Hades today as the giver of life, he exalteth them with himself up to the heavens. He dasheth down the arrogance of the enemy and breaketh in pieces the gates of Hades by the godly power of his dominion and might. Dominion and might. On, the, on April 11th this day, the fourth Sunday of Great Lent, we make remembrance of our godly father, John Climacus, the author of the Ladder of Divine Ascent. Through his intercessions, O Christ God, have mercy upon us. Amen. أفتح فمي فيمتلئ روحا وأبدي قولا فائضا نحو الأم المالكة وأظهر معيدا للموسم بابتهاج وترنم بعجائبها مسرورا. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living and never failing spring. All them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name. And by thy grace divine, O May, deem them all worthy of glory's crown. Seated in his holy glory, on the throne of divinity. Jesus, God transcendent, cometh on a light cloud as King of all, and he has saved by his pure and undefiled hand. Them that cry to him, Glory, O Christ, to thy sovereign mind. Ayatuha al-Batul al-Lati lam ta'rif zawajan Inna al-Baraya bi asriha Qadim dhahalat min majdik al-Ilahi Lianna ki hamalti fi hashaki Ilaha al-Kul Wa waladti l-Ibn ghayr al-Mahdud ومناحت الخلاص لكل الذين يسبحونك On this divine and most honored feast of God's all holy mother Let all of godly mind now celebrate Come let us faithful now clap our hands and send up glory unto the God whom she hath born. In al fitya al mutalli al aqul, lam yabud al khaliq tadun al khaliq, bal watiu waid al nari bi shajat, barat al farihin, ayuh al faiq al tasbih. We 
praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bear. Then in figure and in time, now in very truth and deed. And he hath gathered all the world which crieth out in chant. Ye works of his, O oh, sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. The Theotokos and Mother of the Light, let us honor and magnify in song. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. For he hath regarded the loneliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without sin bearest God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. لأنه قدير صنع بعظائم وقدوسٌ اسمه ورحمته إلى جيل فجيل للذين يتقونه يا من أكرم من الشربيم والقوم أجدًا بغير قياس من السرافيم التي بغير فساد ولدت كلمة الله وهي حقا والدة الإله يكن وعظيم He has showed strength with his arm He has scattered the proud In the imagination of their hearts More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who with thou stain, there is God the word, and our truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. <laughs> أم لأجياع من الخيرات والأغنياء أرسلهم فارغين يا من هي أكرم من الشروبيم وارفع مجدا بغير قياس من السرافيم التي بغير فساد ولدت كلمة الله وهي حقا والدة الإله ياكن وعظيم. He remembering his mercy hath helped his servant Israel as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without sin there is God the word and the truly Theotokos we magnify thee. Let every earthborn man upleap in the spirit and now hold his torch on high. And let all the body, let Noetic coast now celebrate joyously the Theotokos, this sublime and sacred festival, as they cry out, Rejoice, O thou blessed one. Ever virgin and pure mother of our God. A 
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves in each other and all our life, Unto Christ our God. Lord, thee, o Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise thee, and unto thee do they ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Agios Kyrios, Kudusun huwa rabbu ilahuna Exalt ye the Lord our God And worship at his footstool For he is holy When he arose again as God The Lord thrice questioned Peter Lovest thou me then afterward? He made of him chief shepherd of his own sheep. And when Peter saw the loved one by Jesus coming behind and following, then he asked of the master and what of him. If I will, he said, that this man should tarry until I come again, O oh friend. What carest thou, O oh Peter? O oh righteous John of perpetual memory, thou didst not turn aside from worldly luxury, Thou didst turn aside from worldly luxury because it is loathsome and emaciating thy body with abstinence. Thou didst renew the power of thy soul and enrich it with heavenly glory. Wherefore, Thou ceasest not to intercede for our sakes. Saves through thee, O Lady, we acknowledge thee to be in truth no. the Theotokos. For in ways past speech thou hast borne God, who hast destroyed death by thy cross, and called to himself the assemblies of the saints. With them we praise thee, O Virgin.
الله لجميع أبراره الأم أيها الشعوب جميعا وعلموا قوة هذا السر الرهيب لأن المسيح مخلصنا الكلمة الأزلية قام من بين الأموات ليخلص الكل فله نسجد Praise God in His sanctuary Praise Him in the ferment of His power The guards have published it abroad, O Lord Telling of all Thy wonders but the assembly of falsehood filled the right hand with bribes, thinking that thereby they might conceal thy resurrection, which the world doth glorify. Wherefore have mercy upon us. <laughs> إن البرايا بأسرها قد امتلأت حبورا لم لما قابلت بشرى قياماتك لأن مريم المجد لي توافت إلى ضريحك وصادفت ملاكا جالسا على الحجر بحلة باهية وقائلا لما تطلبنا الحي مع الموتى ليس هو هنا لكنه قد قام كما قال إنه Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet, praise Him with the psaltery and harp. O Master, lover of mankind, with Thy light do we behold the light, for Thou art risen from the dead, granting salvation to the race of man, that the whole creation may glorify Thee alone. Who art without sin, have mercy upon us. Praise Him with the timbrel and dance, praise Him with the stringed instruments and organs. Righteous Father John, in very truth, Thou hast the high praise of God in thy throat every day and hour, and with active diligence thou didst earnestly meditate on the divinely inspired oracles, and was made rich in the grace that they pour forth. Through this, O man most wise, thou becamest blessed, and this utterly overturn the counsels of all base and godless men. Praise him upon loud cymbals, praise him upon high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Lord. Righteous Father John, in very truth, Thou hast the high praise of God in Thy throat every day and hour, and with active diligence Thou didst earnestly meditate on the divinely inspired oracles, and was made rich in the grace that they poured forth. Through this, O oh man, most 
most wise, thou becamest blessed and didst utterly overthrow the counsels of all base and godless men. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord and his commandments, shall he greatly delight. Righteous Father John, most glorious, with streaming fountains of tears, thou didst wash thy soul clean of stain, standing all the night in prayer, thou becamest a friend of God. And thou didst soar as on wings unto his love, and his divine beauty which thou worthily now dost enjoy on high with thy fellow athletes. Evermore enjoy, O most blessed and godly-minded saint and man of prayer. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Righteous Father John, most glorious, since thou hast given thy mind wings to soar up to God by faith, thou didst hate the turbulence and impermanence of the world. For thou didst take up thy cross with ardent zeal, to follow after him that beholdeth not, and thou didst subjugate the reluctant body to thy sovereign mind by ascetic labors through the Holy Spirit's mind. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Come, let us labor in the mystical Oh.
الآن وكل أوان وإلى دهر الداهرين أمين أنت هي الفائقة على كل البركات يا والدة الإله العذراء لأن الجحيم قد سبيت بواسطات المتجسد منك وآدم دعية ثانية واللعنة بادت وحواء عتقت والموت أوميت ونحن قد حيينا لذلك نسبح هاتفين مبارك أنت أيها المسيح إلهنا يا من هكذا سر المجد لا Glory to thee who has shown forth the light Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee. We give thanks unto Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God and Son of the Father that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the oh, sins the of the world. For the only art holy, the only art the Lord, O oh Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we do. Put our hope in Thee. Blessed art Thou, O Lord, teach me Thy statue. been our refuge in all generations. I said, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Of life, and in thy light 
to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, our God, who through one and the same Holy Spirit, distributing gifts of grace to each one of those whom thou hast chosen, hast given to thy church diverse orders, who through thine inscrutable providence hast appointed degrees of ministry therein the service of thy holy and immaculate mysteries, and who through thine ineffable foreknowledge hast ordained this thy servant Damien to be worthy to serve in thy holy church. Do thou the same Lord preserve him uncondemned in all things, and grant that he may love the beauty of thy house. Stand before the doors of thy holy temple and kindle the lamps in the tabernacle of thy glory. Make him thy perfect servant in the time of thy second coming, that he may receive the recompense of those who are well-pleasing in thy sight. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. I will wash my hands in innocence. Go about thy holy table in fear of thee. Do 
This salvation come unto the world. Let us sing unto the author of our life who arose from the tomb. For destroying death by death, he granted us the victory and great mercy. O oh Lord, open thou my For me, Master. <coughs> Remember me, Holy Master. Bless, Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Basil, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our President, the civil authorities and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, Captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is a good thing to give praise unto the Lord, and to sing unto thy name, O Most High. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, sing. To proclaim thy mercy in the morning and thy truth at night. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. For our God is just, and in him there is no oppression. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save A 
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the might, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The Lord hath reigned, he is clothed with beauty, the Lord is clothed with strength, and hath girded himself. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing unto thee, Alleluia. For he hath established the world which shall not be moved. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing unto thee, Holiness becometh thy house, O Lord, unto length of days. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing unto thee, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages.
and fall down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, who sing to thee, Alleluia, Hanles Love me. 
Unto thee we ascribe glory and the thrice holy hymn to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit <clears throat> now and ever and unto ages of ages.
from heaven and behold and visit this vine and perfect that which thy right hand hath planted. Many years من السماء وانظر وتأهد وأصلح هذه الكرمة التي يمينك درستها Epivlepson ex uranu ke ide, ke episkepse tin ambelon taftin, ke katartis eftin, in efitevse nidexiasu. Many years last.
an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he interposed with an oath so that through two unchangeable things in which it is impossible that God should prove false, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind the curtain where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever. After the order, It is good to give thanks unto the Lord. To proclaim thy mercy in the morning and thy truth by night. Ten, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to my spirit. Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to the Let us attend. At that time, a man came to Jesus, kneeling down and saying unto him, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he was a, he has a dumb spirit, and wherever it seizes him, it dashes him down and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked thy disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And Jesus answered him, O faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him, and when the spirit saw Jesus, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell down on the ground, and rolling about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has it has he had this? And he said, From childhood. And it has often cast them into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd was running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You dumb and deaf spirit, 
I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. <clears throat> and after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when Jesus entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And Jesus said to them, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. Glory to the O Lord. Glory to the Lord. Many years to the Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace, wisdom. That guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Save the King of all who comes invisibly as quartered by Angelica.
finish off that one. Really cool. All of you and all Orthodox Christians, the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Reverend Metropolitan Joseph, his grace, our Bishop Basil, and all our brotherhood in Christ, the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The President of the United States, all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere, May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Orthodox servants of God, that they might have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, and the pardon and forgiveness of their sins. The Metropolitan Father, <laughs> Archbishop Johanna, Sandra, Kent, Norman, Carol, Elias, Elena, James, Frank, Ian, Peter, David, Kathy, Sarah, Jamil, Maya, Eval, Tamara, Matthew, and the servant of God, Tempest. The Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The Orthodox servants of God departed this life in hope of the resurrection and life eternal, especially the servants of God, Arch, Mary, Jack, Adeline, Margot, John, Elizabeth, and Jamil. May the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. <laughs>
complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence in the fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady the Fail Tokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all-holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Peace be unto all. Let us love one another, that with one accord we may confess. Let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the and all things as well as one. And in my Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only God, the Father of all the world. And I pray that the Lord God, the Father of all the world, 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 Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. And the 
communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. to go forth to his voluntary and ever memorable and life-giving death. In the night in which he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy and immaculate hands, when he showed it unto thee, the God and Father, and given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Like manner, having taken the cup of the Lord, he gave it 
to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, 